Still on the Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, I'm just going to say this. WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder is simply amazing. If you guys are not getting any of this, then you're just missing out on something. Pay attention to this man. Man's amazing. All right? Just had some news. Listen to one of my favorite uploaders. Right? I had an interview with uh, Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder is actively saying, actually, it's a trip. Hey, he wants Lewis, the real King Kong, Ortiz. Now, Lewis, the real King Kong, Ortiz, for those who don't know, he was going to fight Deontay Wilder, and he got popped for uh, PEDs, and he said it was a high blood pressure medicine, and this and that. And long story short, you know, he's been exonerated. He's been reinstated. He's ready to fight soon, right? But it happened late after both of these guys had training camps, and then um, he wasn't able to fight. So it's very interesting that he's able to fight, but that must mean it's, it's all good. So whatever the case may be, he's ready to go. So I was basically, me personally, I was like, well, whatever. Uh, I was about to do even do a video about it. Deontay Wilder don't need to fight Ortiz soon. I, I don't I want to see the fight soon. Okay, because my point would be reinstate Ortiz, let him do a little something first. Right? But not directly into a Wilder fight. Why? You may ask. First of all, earn it again. You know, you're a second time offender. That's first. Second of all, somebody that has some empathy for Deontay Wilder. Winkle asked this man to repeatedly go through training camps, motivated for somebody, and find out at the end of the training camp that he's not going to be able to fight this guy. I don't know if anybody cares about things like that, but these guys are not PlayStation figures. Right? Just turn it off, turn it back on, and it's on again. I had 8, 10, 12 weeks of training camp for this guy find out at the end that it's not going to work out. And I have to refocus. So I wouldn't ask him to do that again, seeing as though we know that he did that with Alexander Povetkin going to England. So I wouldn't want him to do that. I would be like, well, let's make Ortiz fight somebody of substance, one or two fights, and then get a wild and wilder. But Wilder's not having any of that talk. Wilder's like, I'll take him now. And I want to punish him. So those are pretty heavy words, but that sounds like Deontay Wilder that we know. This guy is not running from everybody, anybody. He wanted to fight Joseph Parker, the WB old champion. He wants to fight Deontay Wilder for two, uh, uh, excuse me, Anthony Joshua for over a year and a half or two. You know, then he's trying to fight this formidable opponents like uh, people telling him uh, at least a year, year and a half that he doesn't want to fight Alexander Povetkin. He tries to do so, takes his whole team to England climatize for the fight and find out at the last minute. So he tried to fight Povetkin, which for me, Povetkin's on his ledger. Tries to fight the boogeyman that other people don't want to fight. That doesn't happen. Not for his fault. For me, Luis Ortiz is on his ledger. Intentions mean something. Training camps mean something. So the man, and the man to me is amazing because I personally was going to say, no, hold up. You don't have to fight him for a minute. Make him earn his stripes again. Make him get to that position by beating one or two people of substance. Right? But nope. He's willing to do that. Seeing as though Anthony Joshua's going to try to fight Joseph Parker. That's the perfect thing for most of us boxing fans. Have him fight Lewis Ortiz. I think that's a good lick. It doesn't get any better than that. Because Lewis Ortiz, regardless of what we think, second time offender, this or that. But he's an undefeated Cuban. Which means... He's dangerous. Undefeated in Cuban in one sense, and we're talking about boxing, what I say to y'all, that means that dude's dangerous. All right? So let's get let's get let's get ready to rumble. Alright, that's all I can see it. Now on another note, you got Deontay Wilder saying, hey, well, if it comes to the Anthony Joshua fight, it's 50-50 or no fight. Well, that's probably gonna be no fight. Because it's not gonna be 50-50. Especially. Especially 
if Anthony Joshua goes and beats Joseph Parker and has three belts and Deontay has the WBC belt. It's the most prestigious. But at that point, it's going to probably be some different things that's going to have to happen for that fight to happen. Probably not going to be no 50-50 then. Even now, it's going to be hard to do because Eddie Hearn is over there talk, trying to get the um, <laughs> and, uh, your boy Joseph Parker, 25, 30% and stuff like 30, I think he's at right now. And all Joseph Parker won is 35. He ain't gonna try to give Deontay Wilder no 50 50. They're feeling entitled. Now, I know what Deontay Wilder is thinking. I know he's like, man, I've been calling this dude out for two, two years. And now he's gonna come up and push over for me like he's the one that's better. That he's the one that's more deserving, and you have been not trying to fight me for two years. Same thing with Joseph Park. You're going to be like, well, it probably ain't going to say two years, but I've been trying to fight him for eight months to 12 to months, almost a year. Now he's going to come into negotiations and tell me what to do. I know that's going to be a hard pill to swallow, but I think Dante Boada, if you're trying to get your legacy together, you're going to have to swallow that one because it probably ain't going to be no 50 50. But those are the two things I want to say. Hearing Deontay Wilder say that he wants Luis Ortiz, for me, is nothing less than amazing. And it's the simple thing about Deontay Wilder. It's constantly like this. He always talks like a heavyweight champion. He always talks like he wants to fight the best in the division. He always talks like he wants to unify the division. And he's the one with all of the flows. Did I say flows? The flaws. He has all these flaws. He's Windmill Wilder. He gets wild. He does not technical fighter. Everyone's more technical than he is. Well, you know, all it is is time to prove it. This, to me, is nothing less than amazing. I want to see what y'all think about that. Deontay Wilder ready to fight Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz. Wow. Dope Sports Talk Worldwide. I'm about to hear y'all.